In this video, we are going to look at how to render Pandas data frame onto our Django app. So, so this is my Django, this is my HTML file. So before we get ahead, I'll just show you how my urls.py and the urls.py of the Django project is. So this is my Django project, which is the churn that you can see here. And I have a urls.py in that. In that, what I've done is I've set a path with my a particular Django app and I'm using the urls.py in that particular app to be uh, linked here okay so if I go to the urls.py into my Django app which is the telecom I come here so this is what we are going to use so for this video we are only concerned about the line number eight that we have done so so right now whenever I run my Django app it will go to this particular path which is which is nothing right it's just uh, the home page the local host right and what this path says is uh, whatever you have in your views.py views.py file you have to look for a function called as home and whatever you have in that particular function you need to execute it all right so that is what we are going to do so if i go to my views.py this is my views.py so I have uh, imported all the necessary libraries that would be required to execute this to render my pandas data frame. Okay, the important one is uh, importing the pandas. Next, I have created a function which is dev home. This particular function will take a request. Okay, so whenever I hit the URL, it's going to take a request. That request would come here, and since in the urls.py we have uh, we have set to execute that particular function right so in that function what we are doing is we are reading the csv file now this particular file we already have uh, i have it on our system right so we are going to read this file just to view the first 10 rows uh, i'm using this particular uh, slicing method in pandas and we are, we are going to view only the first 10 rows of our data set so now what I've commented here. So if you don't want, uh, you just want to uh, see your data set into an HTML format, you can use this dot, uh, dot to HTML function and it can render uh, your data set onto your Django app. Okay. So, but we want it in a particular format into our HTML file, right? So that's where we are going to do the next steps. So we get the data frame, we reset, we do reset index and we convert into JSON format. All right, and the orientation is records. Now, Django accepts the request response in JSON format. That's why we are converting into JSON. Now, what we are going to do is I've created an array, an empty array, and I'm putting all my JSON records into that array. Okay. Now, the next, the next is creating a dictionary. Now, I have a dictionary D, uh, which is the key, and the value is my entire JSON uh, format, the JSON records that we just built, right? So the key is my D, the value D, uh, the variable D, and my value is the entire JSON records. Okay, right. Now this is what the request is uh, done. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, put this request as a response back onto our HTML page. Right. So this is what we do. So we are going to render whatever request we got onto our HTML file, and what we are going to pass is the context variable. Okay. So now we need to get this data into our index.html and we have to render it. Now let's let's go to our index.html and see how we can do that. So I'm assuming you guys are familiar with Django and uh, HTML, uh, HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. So it would be easier to understand. So if I scroll down, so this is my navigation bar, you can go ahead and change it as per your convenience. All right. So if I go down a little bit, I scroll down. So this is the part where we are interested in. Okay. So what I've done is I've created a container. I have a, I've created a table. Okay. And this is this this is part of your bootstrap and HTML and CSS. It becomes easier. Okay. To use. Now what so, so whatever data set that I have, the the all the columns in the data set, the data, the column headers are these. All right. So we are setting those customer ID and everything. You keep all your data set in one row, data set headers in one row. You can get this from your CSV file. And now we need to uh, loop through our data. So if you see, we had passed context as a dictionary. All right. 
so if i go to my index dot html so what i'm going to do is if there is some data present then you have to loop through it okay so before this we uh, before we go ahead uh, there's something called as jinja templates in django and it would be similar in flask as well so there, there's a particular syntax that you need to follow so curly brackets and percentages uh, is a syntax all right uh, and when we want to uh, render a variable some data you know some string that is when we do it in double curly braces so you can look you can go ahead and uh, have a look at this in the documentation of how to use the syntax all right so what we are doing here is we are seeing if there's a data in our d in our key okay in our dictionary if there's some data we are going to loop through that data all right now when we are looping we are looping through our json uh, which is uh, wrapped into our list okay and all these are the values all right so i dot number i dot customer id gender senior citizen all these are your values uh, your headers okay that's how it is uh, understanding uh, which value to put okay so it is looping and it is going to loop only for the first 10 records right that's because that's the data frame we have mentioned here right all right so once you do this you have to end your for and you end your if okay so this is how you can get your pandas data frame onto your web app so my my localhost my server is already running let's look at that so this is this is how it looks so for the first 10 records you can see right you can see all the data that you got it rendered it and now we can see and this is the gen and this is these are the headers that we mentioned here right so this is how you can render your data set so to summarize you have a function which is taking your request taking the uh, csv file converting into json putting into a dictionary and then putting that request as a response onto your index.html we go to our html we take that uh, response we loop through the data that we took in as a dictionary and we see it over here so this is how you can see your pandas data frame onto a web app so this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video let me know if you have any questions and in the next video we are going to see how to build this buttons and how to train our algorithm all right see you in the next video